Welcome to Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2's Midterm 2 Practice Problem Screencast. We are on problem 4.1. We are supposed to draw the top three levels of the recursion tree for this recurrence up here, labeling as much as we can of the level numbers, level numbers, problem size of each node inside the node, the work at each node next to the node, the total work per level, and general forms for the work per level and for the problem size of each node at a level k. So the general forms are in terms of k. Then we're supposed to draw a little gap and draw in the leaf level, including the problem size at that level, and if we can, the level number in terms of n. And it does say that we should be able to get through the labeling of the level numbers, the problem size at each node, the work per node, the work per level, and the problem size at the leaf level, but that the other parts might be difficult, at least from a notational standpoint. Uh, and it says to go off and read about Canoose up arrow. Uh, we're not going to go and read about Canoose up arrow right now, but let's see how far we can get. So I'm just going to make some space so that we can discuss this. Make sure that recurrence stays on the screen. So we're going to start with a node of size n, as we usually do, and we are supposed to label the problem size inside the node. We're also supposed to label the work at each node, so let's go ahead and label the work at this node. Uh, I'm going to switch to, say, blue for work. Okay, so the amount of work at this node, well, we can look back up at the recurrence and see it's c times n right there. Okay. Uh, we also need to label, what else, the level numbers. Well, that's pretty easy. I, I'm just going to draw in some level numbers right now. Uh, I'll put the level numbers in green. So this is level number 0, and next we'll draw level number 1, and then next we'll draw level number 2. And it says we're going to put a gap in at that point, and then we're going to draw in the leaf level. I don't know how to draw, uh, how to label the level of the leaves quite yet, so I'm not going to draw that in, but that's what it's going to look like generally. And we're also supposed to label the work per level. Uh, additionally, it says we're supposed to have general forms of work per level and problem size, at least potentially. But we're not ready to do that until we see a pattern. So I'm not going to put that in yet. I'm going to go to the work per level instead, which I think we agreed work was in blue. So the work at this level is just the sum of the work at each node. And there's only one node. So it's just n. So let's go back and put in more structure of the tree. How many children does the root node have? Well, there are two subproblems, so it's going to have two children. I can see up here in the recurrence that there are two subproblems. That's what this two tells me. So I'm going to have two children. How big is the problem size inside those children? It is of size log of n. And I'm going to ignore floors and ceilings, just like I was told to. So this is log of n. We also need the work per node. Let's go ahead and draw that in. So here again, the work at e each node is c times n, but n, the problem size, is changing. So here the problem size is log of n. When we plug that in for n, we get a work of c times log of n. And over here, c times log of n. And so this is 2 c log of n. And let's continue to a third level. On the third level, we've got a problem size of log of whatever the previous problem size is. Ooh, that is log of log of n, log of log of n, log of log of n, log of log of n. The work in each node is c log of log of n. I'm going to write this in a more compact form, since I have to write this over and over again. We need some sort of notation for applying log multiple times. I'm going to use this notation, which is somewhat standard, log 2 of n. So that's iterating log twice. This is not log of n squared. So it's neither log of n squared, which is just 2 times log of n, nor is it log of n, all of that, squared. This is log applied to log applied to n. And let's go ahead and label the next two nodes the same way, because they have the same amount of work in them. And then this, well, there are four nodes. So it's 4 times c of log 2 of n. Now, if you've never seen that notation before, this problem starts getting messy at this point. Sorry about that. Uh, but it, it is good practice anyway.
And that's why we said just label as much as you can. Now at this point, we're just going to dot 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 in here because it says to draw a gap and draw in the leaf level. So let's draw in the leaf level. There's presumably lots and lots of nodes at the leaf level. And we're going to want to know how many. What's the problem size at the leaf level? You know, it's, it's kind of up to us. I mean, we could say that it's 16 because the base cases start at 16. That would be fine. Uh, if you wanted to say 1, uh, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. I mean, if you think about it, between 16 and 1, if we're taking logs each time, there's really only about two steps. So it's not going to make a lot of difference. But I'll go ahead and say 16, since we said 16 up there. Okay. Again, 1 would be fine, too. In fact, I'll write that in. So, or 1. In those, uh, in those base case, in those leaf nodes. Okay, uh, so how much work is there at this level? What is this level? Well, we still don't know. Let's just say it's level K. Right, so this is level K. All right. In that case, it suddenly becomes kind of easy to add up the amount of work at this level. The amount of work is, uh, well, it's the, it's the number of nodes at this level. And uh, this uh, up here, we've got 2 to the 0. Here we've got 2 to the 1. Here we've got this is one here. Here we've got 2 to the 2, and so on and so forth. So we're doing 2 to the level, so this is going to be 2 to the k. So there are 2 to the k nodes, and they each take constant work. So we can stop right there and call this 2 to the k. It's often really handy to call it 2 to the k times c log to the whatever. Uh, but I'm just going to stop there. Uh, but let's get general forms for problem size. So problem size at level k. What is that? Well, it is log k of n. And sure enough, this notation typically, if you put a 0 in for the k up at the top there, it's defined to just give you back whatever's inside here. So it would just give you back n, which is what we want at the top level, because we have a problem size of n. And the work at level k, that is just, I'll put it in blue just to be consistent, uh, that is just c, so we've got a c at each of these levels, right, times, we've got this 2 to the k component, times, we've got this log applied k times, iterated k times, of n component. So what have we done? We've got level numbers. We've got the problem size of each node. We've got the work at each node. I, I did not label the work down here, so let's just say 1, 1, 1. Now we've got the work at each node. Uh, we've got the total work per level. We've got general forms of work per level and for problem size at each node. And that'll do it.